Setting and managing user permissions is an important part of an admin's role, and this is to ensure that our users have the appropriate access to different functionality while working in the platform. Let's review some overall great best practices when considering these different options available in Salesforce. Now, the available options for managing user permissions includes profiles, permission sets, and permission set groups. Now, user permissions include different access across the org, so the ability to send emails or create reports, or permissions specific to certain applications, like the ability to import leads or transfer cases. This also includes access to objects and fields, for example. So what should we be using and how should we be using these different options together to better control permission management for our users? Let's start with the profiles. The profile provides a user's minimum base level settings and permissions to perform different functions, and every user is assigned exactly one profile. We suggest using the minimum access Salesforce standard profile as a baseline to then customize to provide some default settings for our users that include their page layout assignments per objects, default record types, IP range restrictions, and login hours. Permission sets are used to grant additional permissions for specific users on top of their existing profile permissions. Permission sets can be used for most things controlled at the profile level, like access to system and app permissions and access to objects and fields. A user can be assigned multiple permission sets. And when using permission sets, we're able to create permission set groups that bundle permission sets together based off of a task or tasks that users perform representing a job function. This is gonna provide a more scalable and secure configuration while delivering the principle of least privilege, meaning not granting too much access to our users. Now, instead of relying on profiles for all permission management, we encourage admins to leverage permission sets and permission set groups for complete profile management. The goal here is to reduce the number of profiles. A couple tips when providing access using permission sets and permission set groups. The permissions you include in the permission sets in your permission set group need to align with tasks that users perform in their job function. So if not, review that job function's goals. If you need to create a new permission set to include in your group, consider how it also could be used outside of the permission set group. Look at other job functions to see if users need to perform some of the same tasks. Model your permission sets on the tasks that your users perform. If the job function for the permission set group changes, you can update the permission set group. This is the great thing about permission set groups. They are very easy to adjust and provide a lot of flexibility. Now, permission assignment analysis can take some time, especially if you are already working within an implemented organization. There is a free app on the App Exchange called Permission Helper that is a great resource to utilize. Admins can install this app and use it to see what permissions a user has, convert profiles to permission sets, and more. So for example, you might wanna grab permissions from an existing profile and then use the app to convert those into permission sets to then bundle within permission set groups. When you complete your analysis, you can begin to migrate your profile-based model to that more flexible permission set and permission set group model. So putting it all together, admins are watch guards to ensure that our users have the appropriate access levels for their jobs. Granting and managing user permissions can be an iterative process in evolving and growing organizations. But if you know what options are available and how best to utilize, you will be able to be set up for success within your org.